Hey guys, Quack and Quasar here, back again with another Mass Effect Andromeda video. And in this video, I'm actually going to be talking to you guys about why I think the assault rifles in Mass Effect Andromeda need a serious damage buff. Like, why they need to do more damage per shot. I think this is a really serious thing. Like, I'm used to the, uh, the Avenger assault rifle during this video. It's sort of like the baseline default assault rifle. I thought that would be good for proving my point and proving why they really need a damage buff because assault rifles are, by the, the, you know, the standard default weapon. They should be decent overall. They shouldn't be sort of... They shouldn't be... Just look at the little damage it's doing against this freaking grunt uh, grunt type enemy. The assault rifles should not be, you know, specialized in any you know, major aspect. They should be okay. They should be you know, decent. They should be, you know, decent enough in every aspect, in range, in damage in their rate of fire. Now the rate of fire in these, uh, you know, assault rifles, in most of these assault rifles in the game is pretty decent. The range is pretty decent, but the, uh, the damage is really not there. Now I'm using this in a, you know, using this uh, gun with a max level human infiltrator, meaning that I have, I have got some, uh, some weapon buff, some weapon boost that just come with having a maximum level character who's got like the, the munitions training skill tree all the way leveled up. If you're using this with another character or like a low level character, these assault rifles would be even worse. Now, even assault rifles that supposedly specialize in high damage or high damage per shot, such as the L L89 Halberd, which is like the, uh, the pro upgraded version of the Matok for anyone who's uh, familiar with the Matok, or the Sandstorm, which is sort of like the most sniper rifle of the assault rifles that's supposed to be long range and high damage. Even those don't do a lot of damage. Even those have got only got like 150. I think the Sandstorm's got 163 damage. Now, even, you know, that's not good. That's because, uh, you know, some of the sniper rifles have like 1,500 damage and you've got this uh, supposedly high damage burst shot assault rifle that's got, you know, 150, 160, not even, you know, 200 damage. It's pretty damn bad. It's like a tenth of the damage of like some of the best sniper rifles, and this is supposed to be high damage per shot. So it's pretty damn shabby. It really is. Now, most of the assault rifles in the game are useless. I'm playing, playing bronze right now because this gun, this, uh, this gun would just not be able to handle silver or gold. It really wouldn't. I'm playing bronze and this is how long it takes to kill enemies on goddamn bronze with an upgraded character. Bear in mind, I've got like 50% extra damage with uh, with my weapon because I've got like a maximum level character. This was a level one human infiltrator. It will be a whole nother story. It will be even worse, but I'm not gonna reset my entire character. I don't think there is, is even a, an option to reset your entire character. My point is it's even worse than, than I'm demonstrating in this video. It is insane. And uh, as I was saying, most assault rifles in the game would be absolutely useless on uh, silver and on gold. Hence why I am playing bronze right now. Now, even with damage buffs from, say, equipment, so like the uh, the, the combatives uh, armor or equipment upgrade that you can get, which is like a permanent upgrade that you can get out of the item store that you can buy with mission funds that you get from Apex, uh, completing Apex missions and sending your strike teams out on strike missions. Uh, even with those damage buffs, it's not gonna, it's, it changes nothing. Like, it increases the damage, obviously, but not substantially. I could uh, go into Tactical Cloak right now, and by the way, when you shoot out of Tactical Cloak, so when you're cloaked and then you shoot at an, at an enemy, you gain, like, a massive damage buff. But even then, look, well, even then it didn't do anywhere near as much uh, extra damage, because it's not that the, the fault of the character or the ability, the Tactical Cloak ability, it is just because this, this gun's so bad, and like I said, I'm using the Avenger right now which is you know like the most default and baseline of all of the assault rifles it, even with that even with all of the damage buffs in the game it is pretty damn bad in fact it was really bad now i believe that assault rifles that have sort of like 40 to 70 damage this one's got i believe uh 51 damage i believe something like that 51 i think 51 or 49 damage the avenger has and this is an upgraded version of the avenger the original one the version one this is version three version one of the avenger has even lower damage and I uh, you know that's just insane I believe the ones that have sort of 40 50 sort of 40 to 70 uh, damage you know sort of in that damage uh, bracket they should have around 120 150 damage they should be buffed to that and the ones that have sort of 80 90 100 damage should be buffed to about 200 in my opinion I think I think they should at least be you know some of the say the sandstorm as I mentioned before the uh, the high supposedly high damage per shot uh, you know high range high accuracy uh, assault rifle that should be hitting like 250 maybe even 275 damage in my opinion they just really really need uh, a, a, like a substantial like a goddamn substantial buff now 
most of the assault rifles are this way. Not all of them. One of the assault rifles that I actually particularly like is the M37 Falcon. You will see that. You will have seen that in some of my videos if you've seen my previous videos. But basically, that guy went flying. Basically, it's not really uh, an assault rifle. It's a, a grenade launcher. That's why it's so good. It's a grenade launcher. It's got like 400 damage, which is pretty damn good. And uh, that's what I'd expect from some of the better assault rifles. Now, the Revenant, I haven't got the Revenant, but that's supposed to be quite good as well. That's supposed to have quite decent damage. If any of you guys have actually got the Revenant uh, heavy machine gun, let me know how it performs. Let me know what the damage is. I'm very curious, and I haven't got it yet. It's one of those weapons that I really, really want, but I haven't got it yet. I have heard that is a good assault rifle, but apart from those two, I don't think I don't think any of the uh, sort of assault rifles are decent at the moment, or there's any like ones that sort of pull it back for the assault rifles and make assault rifles worthy of using. And uh, like the the thing about the uh, the assault rifles is why not just use it as some machine gun or some sub submachine pistol like the Rosrad pistol, for example. That's going to do. One of you guys said in the comments. Most of the uh, the good submachine guns do more damage than you know most of the good assault rifles or supposedly good assault rifles. So why not just use some machine gun or why not just use you know a high rated fire pistol? It's going to be light and it's in some cases or in a lot of cases it's actually going to do more damage. So it seems crazy. Now the thing about this is as with the facial animation malarkey and as with that whole you know that whole controversy when the game first released and you know everyone hated the, uh, the the crazy eyes of some of the NPCs in the campaign. Enough people spoke about it and enough people complained about it, so it was fixed. Now, I'm not saying go and hate on Bioware and call them a bunch of names and say that you wish they were dead. I'm not saying that. Don't. That's completely atrocious that some people do actually do that on like, social media. I'm just saying ask. When, when they sort of do surveys or when they ask, you know, what they uh, what 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 the players want from a game or even go on their Facebook or Twitter private message them or tweet to them I just say because they both they, the Mass Effect don't go on Bioware I don't think Bioware has a page but Mass Effect has a page and they pay people to sort of run that page as far as I know so go in there uh, give them some feedback again be nice about it be positive I'm not trying to inspire some sort of uh, violent riot right now or sort of uh, like game a revolution I'm just saying if enough people speak about it and enough people ask for it it will happen as with my uh, my Mass Effect remaster video as I said in that if enough people request it it will it will you know greatly increase the chances of it happening and it will great you know if enough people ask for an assault rifle buff it will probably happen in the next update but enough of you guys have to ask for it to for it to be added because they're prioritizing what the, uh, the people want what the players want because that's what Bioware does and that's what you know any good development team does uh, they listen to the players they listen to the fans they listen to the audience and then they will uh, you know do what they want within reason obviously so just you know if enough people ask for it if there's you know enough demand then it will happen but anyway that's going to do it for this video hope you guys find it enjoyable or informative if you did and if you agree then please leave a like definitely comment below what you think of these uh what you think of these um, you know this whole thing like what you think of my opinion whether or not you agree with me I'd uh, really appreciate your input and find it really interesting to read through what all of your opinions are. If you want to see any more of my videos, definitely stick around and subscribe to my channel because I'm going to be making more Mass Effect Andromeda videos than any other YouTuber. So if you enjoy Mass Effect Andromeda content or you enjoy my content in general, you should definitely stick around and subscribe. Anyway, like I said, thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you all in the next video.